this is the latest addition to my memorabilia collection. It's a book and it's called From Saints to Druids, A Discovery of Welsh Football. And the 12 teams from last season are all on there. We like to encourage ground hoppers at the New Saints and from time to time, I do post something on the Twitter account, Facebook, saying that if there are any ground hoppers out there, obviously not at the moment with the COVID-19 situation, but if there are any ground hoppers out there and you'd like to take a game in at Park Hall, let us know in advance and you can come early and we'll give you a, a guided tour. I usually take them right the way around the ground, the stadium, behind the scenes, show them the trophies, tell them the stories behind some of the images that we have on the wall. And then, of course, into the changing room area as well. If we time that right, we don't obviously go in just before kickoff when there's a team talk going on. But when the players arrive and they're just waiting around and talking amongst themselves, we'll open the door and let the people have a look at what's going on the dressing room itself and it's a it's a good tour because you get to see what goes on behind the scenes on match day anyway michael grimes uh, just at that particular occasion he's a ground hopper from london had been commissioned by a magazine a ground hopping magazine to do something on welsh football so he saw that particular post that we made on social media he got in touch and then he came along for a game actually what he did during that season he went to each of the 12 get, uh, grounds that were in Welsh football at the time and he wrote a piece on every ground that he visited and I get a mention in the uh, book I back to get a mention right at the very start in the introduction and he says when he comes to TNS that uh, usually when I go on my travels I'm incognito I don't have a press pass I'm not press I have written articles I have written articles about my travels but usually I don't announce the fact prior to this because because the clubs themselves would ignore me anyway just another ground hopper and that's what we don't do at TNS if you're a ground hopper and you want to come along let me know obviously when things get back on track no fans at the moment and we will look after you we'll give you a, a proper tour of the facilities this time though I took up an offer that I saw on TNS's website and I contacted Stuart Bloor, the Saints media officer. Later I found out he's also known as the Angling Rev for his love of fishing and the fact he's an ordained minister, so the combination of the two there. Being pastor of Tipton Family Church in the Black Country, the players, once they know him, refer to him as the Rev, a nickname he seems to like as his website is called theanglingrev.com. My car has also got a personalised number plate as well. My initials, the year I was born, and Rev. That's not in the book, by the way, I'm just telling you that. Back to the book. He offered to meet me and show me around the club, which he did. The first thing I noticed was the black country accent, which I found out was from Wolverhampton in origin. And he does support Wolves. So Michael sent me a, a copy of that. So that's actually going into my memorabilia collection. And it was a lovely surprise when... I opened it before I started to read it, of course. You start right at the very beginning and it says, Dear Stuart, I hope you enjoy it. Maybe when fishing, signed it. And then there's a little fishing rod there. So again, this is typical of the items that I get into my collection. They're all personal and signed. And in this case, that's the uh, case as well. Now, if you're interested in football, in Welsh football in particular, you want to see the exploits of a ground hopper and his thoughts on what he came across, then you can buy this book. Not from me though, but if you check out my website, assuming that you're watching this just on YouTube, of course. But if you check out my website, I'll post the link that you can get hold of it. It's seven ninety nine and two pound for postage. So less than ten pounds. And I think it's probably a good Christmas present as well, isn't it, for someone for just uh, ten pounds. And in the introduction, he goes through there, and I've got a mention there as well. 
I'm going to be coming down to that right at the end. He says, like I said, I travelled to most of the games incognito, not expecting any particular treatment. TNS was the only club I let know in advance. And that's because they had mentioned a tour for ground offers on their site. Thanks to the Angling Rev for that. So I'll post the link to this so you can get hold of the book. Let me just give you a, a quick flick. It's not glossy and the images aren't in colour, but for less than £10, including postage, well, it's well worth a read, isn't it? For sure. And especially if you're involved in Welsh football or you like Welsh football, then definitely. And if you're not, well, it's a chance to maybe find out a little bit more about the beautiful game in Wales. So, Michael, thank you very much for the mention there. And, of course, the, the personalised book there. Very much appreciated. And, as I have already said, ground hoppers, wherever you may be, if you want to come and visit us at Park Hall, we would love to have you with us. We get visitors from not across, just across Wales, but also England as well. And even further afield, it was a couple of years so ago now I went to Liverpool to meet a group I think there were 22 of them if I remember correctly certainly a, we had a coach anyway and I went to meet a group of Norwegian ground hoppers and they were over for the weekend they did TNS on the Friday evening they did an FA Cup game on the Saturday and they went to Liverpool on the Sunday and then back home to Norway. It was great picking them up and they certainly enjoyed themselves as well. And if you've seen some of my videos in the past, then I have talked about it from time to time. And I've also wore a cap. I've got a couple of caps with a Salmon River in Norway on there. And someone actually contacted me to say, how do you, a salmon angler, how did you get hold of that? And I told them the story. When the Norwegian ground hoppers came, my recognition as an angler went before me. And one of them said to me, I've got you some gifts, a couple of caps and some, a couple of books as well on salmon fishing in Norway. So ground hopper, get in touch. Want to get hold of this book? check out the website or my website where I'll put the link on there. You might be on there already and if you are, well, it'll be on the page that you're on already. And let's hope we can get back to ground hopping properly shortly or at least in due course.